stop using the excuse, I don't have time. Because all you need is five minutes to start new daily habits. I have a list of 15 habits that can take only five minutes in order to start changing your life. So if you are ready to get your life together and be more productive, take a seat, grab a coffee, and let's begin. So I'm going to break these habits down into three categories, your mindset, activities, and surroundings in order to have a well-rounded routine when it comes to getting your life together. So first up, mindset. Number one is breath work. Now you can find like five minute breath work exercises on YouTube. You can make your own where you truly just center yourself and focus on your breath in order to start your day off. You can even do it at night to help you fall asleep. You could do it in the morning in order to motivate and rejuvenate yourself. But truly just sitting for five minutes, focusing on your breath is a great way to center yourself, focus yourself and to stay in the moment. Cause sometimes the minute we wake up, our brains are go, 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 go. Having breath work as a part of your daily habits is a great way to just clear your mind. Number two, gratitude. You can either write your gratitude down, speak your gratitude out loud, making time for gratitude to list out the things that you are grateful for on a daily basis. It's a great way to train your brain to look for things that you are grateful for. The more you do it, the more things you're gonna find to be grateful for, which will put you in a better mood and make you feel better about your day to day. Number three is sunlight. I don't know about you, but we are in the middle of May and now that the sun is out and we are having like blue sky, warm weather, nice days, I feel better. And so getting outside, having the sun hit your face, it just puts you in a good mood. And so take some time out of your day to just sit on your front porch, in your backyard, stand in your driveway with the sun hitting on you, whatever it is, but just get some sunlight because it is beneficial to your overall well-being. Number four, Take a look at your Pinterest vision board. I know you have one. If you don't have one, I recommend getting one. Is simply making a vision board in Pinterest with all of the pins that basically show what you want your life to be, who you want to become, the goals that you have. And then every night before bed or in the morning, you can just scroll through your Pinterest vision board for the month, the year, whatever you make, and just sit in that excitement of like, this is what I visualize, these are my goals, and having those goals at top of mind is going to help you want to stay more consistent and show up regularly because they are always on your mind and you're always sitting in that excitement. And number five under mindset is mindlessness. Try to spend five minutes with doing nothing. No phone, no TV, no music, nothing. You're not eating, you're not doing anything. Just sit and just exist in the moment. You can see where your thoughts wander, but you can try to clear them and sit in mindlessness because we are in a society where we just consume so much. There's always so much in front of us. Nowadays, I watch, my TV is on with a show while I'm scrolling on TikTok or social media in general. Like we are just consuming so much at any given time. Making the time for only five minutes of just sitting in the moment with nothing distracting you. And this one will feel weird in the beginning because we are so used to having something consuming our attention. And so when we sit and do nothing, it's kind of like, oh my gosh, what am I supposed to do? So our next category are activities in order to become a better version of yourself. So number one is reading. I recommend reading for five minutes a day, either a self-help book or a book on a topic that you want to learn more of. Yes, it technically could be fiction if you really want to, but I know with me when I read fiction, I will not read for five minutes. I will go down a rabbit hole and I will read for hours and hours and hours. This five minute reading habit to be intentional. So some books that I absolutely have loved is Atomic Habits, 101 Essays to Change the Way You Think by Brianna Wiest. Atomic Habits is by James clear um oh this is the one that i'm currently i'm almost done this one uh the creative act creative act a way of being by rick rubin um i'm about like two thirds of the way in but i kind of fell off my reading habit um i definitely have to reread this one but it is actually so such a good read. The second activity is crafting or a hobby of some kind. So personally, I love crocheting, puzzling, embroidery, drawing, painting, really anything that is just you and the activity and just show up for five minutes. You might last longer than five minutes. It's another way of focusing your brain on one singular activity. So you're not 
constantly overthinking about the next thing or worrying about that random thing that happened 10 years ago. You can just focus in the moment. So number three is a walk. Go for a five minute walk down your street, get outside, breathe the fresh air, and then you can come back and go on about your day. Getting outside plus movement is so beneficial to your overall well-being. Number four is journaling. Journaling is a great thing to do either first thing in the morning, middle of the day, at night, really anytime. First thing in the morning, you can journal for five minutes, just brain dump. People sometimes call these morning pages where you just get absolutely everything, like stream of consciousness, just out of your head and onto the page so that it's not left up here so that you can then focus on the other things that you want to do throughout your day. And journaling is also a great way to help you get clarity. Sometimes writing, like sometimes you overthink something to a point where you just can't really process it anymore and writing it out is a slower process and you might actually get a different perspective as you start writing and just allowing yourself to get it all on a page and then even if you go back and you read some of your old journal entries you might realize how far you've actually come when three months ago you were thinking about this and now you've actually overcome it it's a great way to see your progress and number five is no phone so for five minutes throughout your day you can do this multiple times a day don't pick up your phone. And you can even right now be aware, how often do you reach for your phone? Have you ever left your house without your phone and had this weird like feeling that like you're missing an arm or this like extension of you is gone? Like it feels weird not having your phone around you, which is scary because we're so attached to these little devices that we actually have to consciously make an effort to leave it somewhere. Even on a different floor or a different room for five minutes at a time, just disconnect from it. And five minutes is not a long time, but it's enough time to give yourself space and to implement these habits in order to change your life, feel more productive, show up to your goals, implement new habits that will make you feel accomplished day after day after day. So the next category is your surroundings. I'm a big believer that if your space is cluttered, your brain is cluttered and you're not going to strive for your goals or start any new habits. So these five minute habits are to start a load of laundry, just get it out of the way, put if you have a pile of clean clothes that needs to be fold, put on a five minute timer and just do as much of it as you can when the five minutes is done, that's it. All you have to do, five minutes. Number two, make your bed. Number three, either load or unload the dishwasher washer or if you have like seven items in the dishwasher just run it just run it you don't have to just like wait for it to be completely full in order to run the dishwasher but it's a task that you could do that could set yourself up tomorrow you're gonna have clean dishes sick the fourth activity is to plan your outfits for the next day so either you could either do this weekly on a sunday and just take five minutes to quickly be like hey i'm wearing this this and this and this or the night before quickly glance at your closet your drawer and be like you know what i want that top those jeans that my socks are right there and just quickly plan it out it's probably going to take you less than five minutes or if you have an idea for an outfit in your head and you realize it is dirty in the morning, you're not gonna have to like panic and rush because the outfit you wanted is actually not available. So then you have to like scour your closet for like another random outfit and that's just gonna cause you to rush. And starting your morning when you're rushing and frustrated is annoying. It sets the mood for the day. And then the fifth thing when it comes to your surroundings is to do regular five minute resets. I have been doing this where I will set my timer. I think I've been doing 10 minutes though, but you can start with Five, where you set your timer five minutes, you pick a task in your house and you see if you can beat it. I'm gonna fold my laundry in five minutes or less. I'm gonna unload and load the dishwasher in five minutes or less. I'm gonna vacuum in five minutes or less. It might not be perfect. You might not get absolutely everything clean. You might rush it. But I find that with my brain and how I work, in order to get things done, I'd be like, I bet I can do it faster. Like you kind of have to like play a game with yourself being like, I bet I could finish this before the timer rings. And you just focus on that thing because you're on the clock and you're like, well, I gotta get it done before the timer rings. And if you do this regularly, if you do a five minute reset every single evening before you go to bed, that your kitchen is completely tidy. Small five minute habits can truly help you show up throughout your day to day and, and help you feel more accomplished and productive when it comes to achieving your goals. If you are someone who tends to start new habits and fall back into old habits, check out this video about shifting your identity in 30 days. This dives into setting the foundations to really become the new version of yourself that will actually achieve these daily habits. So that is everything that I have for you in this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit like. If you want to subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos, you can hit the subscribe button down below and I will see you in the next one. Bye.